Welcome back. It's 445. We are rocking and rolling on the North Shore with strong storms blowing in. When's the last time thunder and lightning woke you up out of bed? Well, we've got plenty of it for you this morning. Let's start with live radar. We've got it lit up from the North Shore back all the way through Baton Rouge. If you're heading north or heading west, that is going to be a nasty drive this morning. I want to start with a closer view of St. Tammany because we are starting to see some of these stronger storms blow into St. Tammany from Madisonville to Covington to Folsom. Quite a bit of lightning and thunder. Also, maybe 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gust as this initial line moves in. It's also obviously got some heavy rain that extends back through Hammond. But here's the deal. This is kind of laid down is what we call it. So you're going to start to get this training effect of some heavy rain in Lower Tangy and into parts of St. Tammany. This line has had a history of producing some street flooding back towards Baton Rouge. Some of those places picked up a couple of inches, so we are going to keep an eye on this line through the remainder of the morning as it steadily moves east and does have some of a southerly movement to it. I mean, we've already picked up nearly two inches in Baton Rouge, but look south of Lafayette the past three hours. Some spots have picked up five to seven inches of rain, so we are certainly keeping an eye in on this tail of the line. Now the rain's going to be on and off through the rest of the morning, so I do think we'll have some rain on the south shore maybe in the next couple of hours. Not much happening right now or probably through the 5 a.m., but as we get to 7 and 8, we'll probably have some rain and storms in the metro. A bit of a break this afternoon and then more showers and storms coming in later into tonight. Now that could impact Friday night football. That could impact any events tonight, but uh, I think the later and later you get into the night, that's your higher rain chances. So there's the initial line coming on in later this morning. It actually will be weakening, I think, by 9 and 10 o'clock later on. Notice this afternoon, maybe not a whole lot going on, but as we get into the evening hours, we start to see more showers and storms fire up across the region. This means we're probably going to have a stormy night tonight and into your Saturday morning. And then for your Saturday, passing showers and thunderstorms coming on through. So for the holiday parade for the two lane game, I would pack my rain gear just to be safe. Now there is a low risk for severe weather with this. We have had a few stronger storms. Gusty winds are the primary concern, but there is a little bit of spin in the atmosphere. So we're going to keep a very close eye on all of these to make sure they don't get too rowdy, but there is a risk for severe weather through this morning and into tonight. Now our rain chances are highest tonight, staying pretty high tomorrow on Saturday, but notice by Saturday night they start to drop off and then there you have it Sunday rain chances are much much lower and that cool air makes its return. So it's already warm and muggy this morning. It's going to be warm and muggy all day tonight rain and then tomorrow we're still warm in the 70s. They're drying out and cooling down by Sunday and then look at next week as we make our way through the first work week of December. It's going to be in the mid 60s with cool mornings, but still some clouds during the afternoon.